What's up? It's your boy Carcino here. And let's talk about it. Now, everyone likes to believe all the messy stuff happens with only African American rappers or hip hop stars or reality TV show people and everybody else is above anything else petty. This isn't true. For years, all the petty ridiculousness that you used to see in tabloids were not people of color. It really wasn't. <laughs> you had nothing but nobody was on People People Magazine. That You wouldn't get a only thing black you were going to get on there is the words in the magazine. Okay, you weren't getting that. Inquirer, all these things. This was mostly dominated by people that were Caucasian. They were in everything messy. For example, nothing was ever more messier than Heather Locklear, everybody's favorite girl, the T.J. Hooker. TV show. Seeing her on TJ Hooker, everybody fell in love with that show back in the day. And she was everyone's household girl. But she had a bad habit of dating the wrong men. And he was like, why is America's sweetheart dating all these rockers? She couldn't help it. She loved rock stars. She dated and married Tommy Lee. Then, of course, he cheats. <laughs> then it's over. Then she started dating and married Richie Samboa. The uh, drummer from uh, Bon Jovi. Now, they got a daughter together. They were happy. And her bestie at the time was Denise Richards. That's who she hung out with. Her and Denise. Her friend. You know, and she was there for her when the whole time she was dating Charlie Sheen. Charlie was a friend of hers and Denise. So they all hung out whenever they was around. You know, Charlie would go do his thing or whenever she was going through problems with Charlie, she'd go hang out with Heather. And they'd go to New Orleans. They'd go all over the place. Now... Situation starts to turn different. Richie's touring all the time. And she would normally go to the shows and do whatever. But now that she's taking care and raising the daughter, you know, things are starting to shift. Because she's filming a movie, and she's got a movie coming out, The Perfect Man and all this stuff. And she's on red carpets and got her husband out there with her. And then he got to go back on tour with Bon Jovi because they tour sometimes two years in a row. They stay on the road for about two years. So in the process of a rock group, see, unlike hip-hop acts, rock groups can stay on tour for years and gross about hundreds of millions of dollars it depends on what kind of rock group you're talking about that you can stay on tour for that long in the process they end up recording another album in between their off dates so that's why sometimes you hear the new album and it's like this sucks <laughs> Because they were burnt out from playing the same songs night after night after night for three years in a row. And then they're trying to create something new in, the, in between that. 
But this is what the greats had to go through. Now, you mentioned the partying and the access drinking and all these things that go on on a rock show. This ends up taking a toll. So Denise was the one she trusted while she was doing anything to like be around her daughter, even though she has a sitter and all that. But kind of be there, the friend for the daughter. She's Auntie Denise. You know, why Heather's doing her things, you know, movie-wise. And at this point, Denise's phone isn't ringing really off the hook. She kind of was Charlie's girl. And when she was Charlie's girl, that was it. And then once they split in the way that they did, it became messy because he was making it difficult for her to get work. Nobody was going to deal with Denise. So she was like, oh, I don't know what's going on. This is Charlie's making this difficult on me. And so she was the shoulder to cry on. Heather was there for. Her. Next thing you know, Richie's getting distant. Like he's like dipping off into different rooms to do things that he normally didn't do. If he was on his laptop or whatever, you know, he wouldn't go and hide off in a room and then try to get up and leave once she gets in the room. So, as a typical woman would do, she becomes suspicious. She starts snooping around. And Richie gets up goes into a bathroom she quickly runs over to the computer while it was still on goes through his email and sees that he has open emails from a woman who's sending him photos and she's like oh my god there's pictures of Denise like in a bikini but it's not from Denise's normal email because she emails Heather and everything else but this is like from another email and it's pictures of her friend so she's like why is my friend sending you inappropriate and he's like I don't know who is this from I don't know if this even from her it could be a fan it could be some of anybody just sending me photos. But she's like, why would they send you photos of my friend? You know, that doesn't make sense. So they get into a big argument and fight about it. And why they get into this argument and fight, and she found all this evidence or whatever, he goes back on tour. She abruptly files for divorce while he's on tour that's how he found out and then somebody was interviewing him from the media and they stick a microphone in his face and it was like so what do you think about the divorce her filing for divorce he's like, i'm not getting divorced what are you talking about he had no idea he got totally blindsided and he thought they had worked things out but she she wasn't at that point after the Tommy Lee situation, catching Tommy cheating, and then now she believes she's caught Richie cheating, she wants out. So they get a divorce, and about a month after it's announced, he's dating Denise Richards. Oh, man. Now... Everything hits the fan. Because now you've just confirmed everything you said to her before was a lie. That's how she's going to say it. And he's like, no, 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 we didn't date until at least um, two months after she filed for divorce. But you're our best friend. Why would you do that to her? So Heather went over there to fight her. To the house to go fight Denise, so Denise, definitely, you just can't walk up to their house. 
So she would go outside, drive by the house, and blast Bon Jovi songs and drive slow back past the house. She was relentless. But this destroyed Denise Richards' reputation in the business, and she was completely written off. Nobody wanted to touch her. She was dead in the water. Nobody would deal with her. So, at this point, it was done. Denise Richards was through. But this damaged Heather Lockley because now her whole image is destroyed. She's depressed. Richie's gone and, and with her best friend. So she goes to drinking and taking pills. And she's overdoing it. And she doesn't want to get up to go to work or do anything. She's just laying around the house and drinking and laying in depression. She ends up getting a DUI. She gets in a fight with the cops at her house from being disoriented at a family function when they're supposed to have joint custody. And it's a mess. She was unstable for all her other previous relationships as well. It, nothing was going to work. Heather was always going to be that girl that was completely damaged from this point on. And it was going to take a miracle, a jackhammer, to, to try to get her back to normal. Just wasn't possible. So she's trying to get her life back together now after doing some probation and like all the things she was doing. They refused. To put Heather Locklear in jail just shows you the double standard that happens in America when it comes to African Americans and regular just Caucasians because the things she was able to do, hitting on the cops and fighting them in the way they was didn't want to harm her and take her in. If you had been anybody else, <laughs> that don't end well. Not at all. So, let that sink in. It's your boy Carcino. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the page and hit the notification bell. I appreciate the love and support. And don't forget, you can also hit the cash app up, which is Carcino too. I'm out.